All right. So after a lot of very, very, very painful moments here with Zoom, finally back with Bonnie and James from Menace's Torn. And just before the end of the last segment, uh, we were talking about, um, I don't want to say the rise. I don't want to say the resurgence, but maybe the uh, uh, finally, finally the, the, the music world has been righted in terms of rock where women are getting their, their just place in there. Um, and, and you, I think, stated it beautifully. You know, the 70s, women were doing just as much, probably the 60s and 70s. Um, a friend of mine has a theory that, you know, the guys look like the girls or people were maybe confused. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> He's not um, right? Uh, the 90s, nobody was happy. And then here we are. We have this music that's back again, right? So, um, you know, and you guys are right in the thick of it. Um, you know, James, I guess, uh, do you find when you guys are like, I'm guessing you, you, as a guitar player, you're doing a lot of the writing along with Bonnie. Do you find that you're writing with, you know, the female voice in mind, or are you just writing songs and seeing where they go? You know, I don't really, I don't really think of, uh, it's not really a gender thing at all, really. You know, it's just, uh, it, it's weird because, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll write the, the whole of the song, and then everyone else kind of comes in and tears my masterpiece to, to crap. <laughs> But yep. then it becomes something great on 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 mo most of the songs. Some of my songs are just too good for that. But I'm just <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so but a, a lot of it, Chris and I are you know I got to throw on my drummer. He's he's a he's a brilliant drummer. He'll get a a hook on the drums, and I'll just write like endless songs off his yep. his drum beats. I don't I don't know why exactly because I've played with lots of drummers. There's just something about his technique, you know. And so I'll write songs and then. Uh, Bonnie and I will get together and uh, uh, kind of fight out the lyrics. Like a lot of times, I'll write the lyrics and she will just destroy them. And I'll have this—it's like this song is—it's great, it's perfect, it flows. And she's like, I hate it. And it, it uh, or just she has to fill the song, you know. Yeah. So she'll end up taking like little words here and there, but it just becomes almost a completely different song. As long as I've got, I'll throw the meat and then, yeah. She cooks it up, you know, yeah, puts ingredients in it, you know. And Chris is really good about communicating yes. in a weird way that we understand. Like, instead of being like, da -da 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 -da, like, a brown, 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 brown. And somehow we understand <laughs> yeah. that. We have a weird so language. It's, it, it's not there's like been a few orthodox. Songs, there's been a few songs of James that I've literally torn apart, but for that, good reason. Uh, he's right. I kind of have to, I have to be able to feel it to yeah. sing it correctly. Yeah. Um, and then there are times, and then there's a, a lot of our original stuff, it, it kind of works like this. I'll write something. The guys will come up with the, uh, you know, the entire musical chart with it. And then we put it together and then we'll do it for um, our other singer, Ronnie, and the bass player. Ronnie, like, she's amazing at this. Like, she's she, good steps at in, she steps in and she helps structure things. Um, vocals, she'll be like, yeah. nah, this, that's just a run on sentence. You know, let's, let's. You know, kind of, um, you know, let, let's shorten it up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit sweeter. How about if we go higher here and lower here? So, what's really nice is that um, it's given me, it's given me a much broader horizon when I write because I know that I'm not writing alone, and I know that um, I'm really open for change, and I really like the way that we all communicate and kind of everybody has a piece of this pie, regardless of. How bad I destroyed one of his songs. <laughs> well, it's not just that, but like I'm like really, uh, I have to fight uh, my my '80s play. But like I could write like top forty hits all day long, or or metal songs that are radio friendly, you know, which which is cool. But you know, we want to be more than that, you know. And and I do like the high energy, you know. So everyone's got like different things that they're good at when it comes to writing. So my my play my writing style is changing. I can't wait for. Her. Our, we got an album that's literally supposed to be done yeah, this week. We're excited. Um, and it shows um, it, they're all originals, and it really shows where the band is going. You know, there's bands and hooks. There's stuff that's just like borderline thrash metal, but then we still have uh, still have stuff that's bluesy. Yeah, yeah. We have, we have, uh, but we, have we, we have a very distinct sound that is that has evolved. You know, and we have a very distinct right writing that's going. On. And I I got to throw in Walter on bass. It's weird you'll throw in like these little simple three, four chord blues hooks that will change the entire dynamic of the whole song. So we are an entity. Yeah. 
Well, the question I always ask about bass players, if he loads gear, then we'll talk about Walter. But if he's yeah. a bass player, then sorry, Walter. <laughs> it's pretty much me loading. The drummer's like got his little thing. I'm grabbing everything else, and everyone's, thank you, thank you, thank oh, yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I play with it's the bass like, player. I've still got stuff here, stuff over there, you know. And <laughs> My, my, uh, my bass player, Ryan, we do the very last song, and he's wrapping cables, and he's to the car before we even get paid. It's hilarious. That happened. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what you're talking about, though, is cool because a lot of people um, have been handcuffed, or they don't write, or they don't feel they're worthy to write because maybe they don't read music, or somebody gives them some bad feedback, or they think their idea is dumb. Um, I say this a lot. If you bring a song forward and create it, whether it's – Bohemian Rhapsody, the worst piece of crap you ever heard in your life, you put it forward to somebody to have it judged. And I think that it's important that people go, hey, good good stuff. Don't pick it apart. You know, pat you on the back for doing that. Nice. Yeah, we. I, I have to go there. I mean, um, Ron, it's interesting that you say that because Rhonda, uh, Ronnie is, is um, she's about to bring her first song that she wrote by herself. Really? Front to back, she's about to bring it to us. And oh, cool! I'm I'm really excited for this because she's all you know. She's she's really great about tweaking my stuff. So for mm -hmm. me, there's something to be said about an open band that anybody can write anything and just bring it. Um, the one thing that we do not do is we don't go, oh, dude, that that really sucks. Yeah. Um, it's more of a let's try this. Yeah, you it's, know, it, and if, it really it, is, if it's cool, you know, it's um, being actually, a guitarist. I like to get too technical sometimes. Um, it it kind of yeah. sounds like we've all been through way too much counseling the way we talk to each other. <laughs> like, like uh, okay, so I'm feeling like maybe we should try this, you know what I mean? But I think having that, um, it, not just the respect of one another, understanding that this couldn't have been easy. Uh, nothing that we do is easy. But bringing it to other people and on that judgment, I think you owe it to one another to... Um, you know, be mindful and respect to, uh, respectful to what their art is, regardless of what that looks like. And then be able to communicate it back and forth because I think just about anything that we were to bring to the table is going to get done. Well, and we're writing songs because it's like Rage is a great one because it's not like a real million note kind of song. No, it's easy. But it's got a feeling. It's like I had this massive solo and it just turned out to be just real simple, held notes. But you just, it's just like... You, you get all emotional you when do. you hear it, it you know, as the song is simplified in so many areas, but it's become a song, you know, yeah, like, it's like good. it's got depth, you know, so that, it's, that is I something can, I love that's about one of those this songs band. I can feel like I've literally teared up singing it. You know what I mean? And that I'm figuring if I can feel that emotion, if, if, if Ronnie can feel that emotion and we we're doing it together, um, it's not only seen, but it's heard, you know, it's just like, um, they say that they, you know, in customer service, they say that you can hear somebody smiling over the phone, that they're really enjoying what they're doing. It's the exact same feeling. Yeah. If if we can put that much feeling into a song and project that to other people, then we know that we're doing our jobs. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's funny because, you know, what, you, what you're saying there, James, uh, I, I've got to know a gentleman by the name of Greg Chason really well. Greg was a bass player in Badlands. He's got a band called oh, the Tom and yeah. Kings coming out. James, awesome. or, um yeah, and Greg has the funniest line. He always talks about putting ten pounds of baloney in a two pound bag. <laughs> and it uh, a funny story about that. I had read that quote way back years ago, and I had used it my entire life, kind of claiming it as my own. I interviewed Greg, and he said it about two minutes in. And I started laughing. I'm like, I feel like I have to send you some royalty checks here, man. <laughs> <'Cause> I've been <laughs> using that line for so long. Um, but you know, and the other thing too is, and then you take it live, and you know, then you know, then you're you're you know, you guys are going to go and play in L.A., where it's just kind of like you know, all the musicians are like this, and even you know, if it's like Toronto, even the guy sweeping the floors has an opinion, right? Um, right. How how do you feel about that? And obviously, you've done it in your hometown, but the, does that make you a little nervous? No. I'm excited. I I think it's going to go. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just, it's going to be another show. Uh, I'll probably be very nervous right beforehand yep. because I'm the one guy in the band that like 20 minutes to a half hour, I'm going over every song and just like critiquing it and doing like the speed rehearsals. And it's like, okay, uh, you know, for me, my brain glitches 
on the, the stuff I played the most. You know, that I, sh I know backwards and forwards, all of a sudden I just started getting brain farts, you know, so I'll be working it, working it, working it, working it. And everybody and I, everybody in the band I know, they know my trouble spots. And it's really the most asinine spots on songs, you know? So I'm just, it's not like that. I don't want to be looked at by the people in the band if I hack it, you know? So What's the line? <laughs> that's where my nerves come in. The line is, do it once, it's a mistake, do it twice, it's jazz, right? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, like, it, it, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah. I think we've played in front of so many strangers now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, it, I it's stop, it, it's, I look at everybody in the audience directly in their eyes so they know I'm paying attention to them. Um, and so it, it kind of helps me. So, because they're right at me, you know what I mean? And they're staring right at us. So it kind of helps me if I stare back at them so that they know that I'm not the only one in the room. I might be. Well, I kind of feel like we we're a gang up there anyways. We're having yeah. fun here regardless. We do. You know? We have so, a blast. Yeah, but, so it but is. too, I mean, I get the nerves. <laughs> and LA doesn't really freak me out that bad because I figure, um, you know, this, this is a really great test of how far we've come. Yeah. We're just really comfortable with what we're doing, comfortable with each other. Uh, I have it. It's an honor to be playing with a band like OTEP. Yeah. It's. it's 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 a total it's a total. Oh, honor. and besides so, that, the um, most nostalgic stage like in, in rock history. Well, it, it, yeah. this is the thing, you know. This is the thing, and it's funny because, um, you know, I put a band together with a female singer. Uh, we were playing a show, and there was a lot of buzz about it. The show sold out, and about ten minutes before, one of my friends comes up and says, uh, "Do you know there's like nine drummers in the audience expecting oh, me to be nervous?" And all I could think of was, <laughs> "I get their ten bucks; they can leave anytime they want. Right. I really don't care." Right. You know, That's and I went on and I had a great show. And I think that, and I mean, I got chirped by Sebastian Bach in Toronto in like 93, so I'm good in my own hometown. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but, I mean, you're right. It, it is a testament to how far you guys have come because not everybody gets to play on a stage, let alone the Whiskey A Go-Go. Right? That's yeah. true. And That's God true. shows how, like, within two years of beginning. It's we've been, we've been mean, a year and a half. We've been a year and a half. <laughs> but we've been right out of the go get well, four months into it, and we were getting asked to be Play like Rivera, Rivera Fest, Fest and, these, mo yeah. these monster fest. I'm like, but yes, I, yes, we could do that. I'm like, oh God, we've got to get these songs down. There <laughs> is something to be said, however, when we go to shows locally, um, even when we go out of state, we've, we've been, done a couple out of state, out of the city type of things. We are surrounded by our brothers and sister bands here. Like, you, you can't go, for instance, one of our shows, we must have had nine other bands um, in, the, in our audience yeah. and we do the exact same thing. We travel together. Yeah. Um, there is something, the, you know, Portland. Uh, we all support well, the, each other. The I-5 corridor between or, uh, Portland. California really all the way to yeah, Seattle. All the way to Seattle. You gotta Seattle. think of like Drastic Down and yeah. all those cool guys, yeah. cool cats uh, to Tri-Cities. They really. <laughs> we, almost to Idaho. So. We support <laughs> one another. Like, yeah. We'll wear each other's shirts. We buy Six each other's quota. gear. Six gun quota. I mean, we, we literally support each, each other. Um, Hitchback Mass is a really good one. Uh, we both just went to Wacken recently. Yeah, we didn't we make it. They made it all the way. They played yeah. at the bike room down there. Yeah, um, we're totally supporting them. And I mean, we yeah. we will do. If we can't be there, then we do a video shout out to them and yeah. tell them that we're there with them, so that they know. You know, they, that, that we're watching that. and we're supporting. Yeah. So and they do the same for us. And I know we're not going to find that everywhere, but that's just that's just how it we are here, and it's beautiful. So last question I'll ask you guys, because you, you probably just got home from work, so you want to probably eat some supper and, and, and all that good stuff. But are you guys to, are you signed to a label or, or like have, have you guys signed with anybody? No, no we're doing it on our own label. Yeah, we're doing yeah. it now on our own. Yeah. Uh, but we are definitely it's definitely the direction that we would like to go in. We're very interested um, in pursuing um, better management because right now. That's me, yep. and um, it's, it's it's a lot. It's, there's a lot. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. But be, we do, It'd be nice to have someone. It would be nice to, to have somebody come with. in and say, "Okay, um, I'd like to offer you, you know, a, a real record contract and really do something um, besides my, you know, my what we're doing now." Um, our entire goal is to um, well, find then, a label and move move forward from <coughs> our area. <laughs> well, that and like for me. Um, I know what I can write, and I know what I, if I was able to financially put all my time in the music, yeah. I'd be dangerous. I could yeah. write, I could write endless songs. You know, it's just my bit, and, and I do write a lot of songs, but there's 
life, you know, and my job time. that gets in, in the way, you know. So I mean, the best thing I have is, you know, my Zoom recorder, and I just try to record everything that I have, you know, and and it works pretty good. But I wish I could be doing. Yeah, I wish know, I had I just, more I time playing. to concentrate. <laughs> if we did, um, if we if we It'd all had more time to sit down and actually work on our music, um. <laughs> We could do tenfold what we're doing now, oh, and yeah. I don't. I don't just mean like a thousand more songs. I mean the quality of oh, our yeah. music would be amazing. Um, <laughs> it would be. It would be amazing to have that opportunity. I think. So. Well, I, I think what you guys are doing is pretty cool, and uh, I want to definitely stay in contact with you. I'm Thank like you. I say. <coughs> pardon me when uh, when Raquel sent it to me. I was like, wow. I mean, only because it's, um, I get so much stuff thrown at me. Um, and it's amazing how much stuff you get where the bands, I guess they think it's recording ready and you get it. And it's just like, was this recorded on a ghetto boss or whatever? Right. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Right. And I mean, I hear a lot yeah. of stuff. And so I was kind of like, now she's, she's yet to, to throw me anything subpar. Um, so you're in good hands there, obviously, but no, I, I, I like what you guys are doing. And I certainly respected the fact that, um, you know, I get the feeling if there's two people in the audience or 500, you're going to put on the same show, which I think is key. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Our heart is on the stage with us. So. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, that's going to be the end of segment two, guys. And thanks a lot for doing this little show. I'm going to stop yeah. recording, but I want to chat with you. We're going to talk with a little couple things after and nobody can know about. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Well, thank you.